hello and welcome to another Roblox Studio tutorial. Today I'll be showing you how to make this x-ray vision system. It's pretty simple, but it's a really cool thing to add to your games if you want to just add a special ability or something. If you want to learn how to make it, remember to watch till the end of the video. To make this system, we're going to need to know what the box handle adornment is. It's basically just like a billboard GUI, which is a 3D GUI which is possible to see through walls if you have the always on top property checked which is why we're going to be using it because a box essentially that could be fitted to a base part so to begin this script what we're going to do is create a new local script in the star gy and i'm going to name it x-ray and i'm just going to create a little template for this script i'm going to start with services variables functions connections and initialization looks pretty intimidating but it's actually going to be a fairly short script what I'm going to do for services we all we need is the player service um, and we will define a few settings in our variables I'm going to do box color equals color 3 dot new uh, 0 0 0.15 0 you know what, I'm just going to add 1 here uh, you know what? I'm gonna click on this color wheel icon so we can get more exact color. I'm just gonna drag this little crosshair to the color that you want, and I'm just gonna do 0 0.1 here just to refine it a little bit. And that's the color I chose. It's a neon green color because I imagine this would look really cool in a hospital role play game and have like an ec an a actual functioning X-ray machine. Because a lot of hospital role play games they they kind of failed in my eyes. They're very cash grab. That all they really did well is make a couple of guns. But um, yeah. So I think it would be really cool to have some more functionality for doctors in those games. And what I'm gonna do now is create a new variable for the head size. And why do we have to do this? So when we create a box handle adornment, it has to have a size. It doesn't just automatically fit size to the um the part that's uh, adorned to. And the head just so happens to have a very unique size in comparison to all the other body parts in a character because its width is actually the width of the torso, although it looks like it's only like one third of the torso. So we have to manually change its size, which kind of sucks, but that's just how it is. Anyways, now I'm going to create a function, which is going to be the thing that applies the x-ray effect. I'm going to do local function highlight character value and what I'm going to do is if type character is equal to number then character equals value. Now this looks really random I know but um, I'll explain why we're doing this a lot later in the code a lot fairly close to the end but it is necessary and next what I'm going to do is loop through all the objects in the character so I'm going to do for object in pairs character get children and what get children does it is it returns a table of all objects in the character and I'm going to do if not object is a base part then continue and continue does is it skips to the next object because this object is not a part and we only want to add box handle adornments to things that are parts now for the actual creation of that handle I'm going to do instance.new box handle adornment I'm going to do handle.size equals object.name is equal to head and head size or object.size. What this does is when you have and and or statements a lot that are positioned like this they basically act as if and then statements. So how this should really be read is if object.name is equal to head then handle.size is equal to head size. Else handle.size is equal to object.size. Sorry for any background noise. There's a lot of stuff happening right now. Um, I don't know why but that's just how it is. So I'm going to do handle.adorny equals object and um, 
Adorni is basically the the object that this is going to affect, and I'm going to handle that transparency equals one half. So it's going to be half transparent, and then I'm going to do handle dot color three. Um, all GUI objects use a color three property, not just color. It's kind of annoying, but that's just what's called. And now what I'm going to do is uh, box color, and I'm going to do handle dot z index equals one handle dot always on top equals true and handle dot parent equals character now that was a lot to swallow but I'm gonna break it down so this part is just what's going to make it so we could see it through all the walls and um, handle dot parent is just going to make it so we can see it at all and that should be the end of that function now I'm gonna do players dot player added so it is it affects all new players that join and I'm going to do is if players equal to players that local player then return and what this is going to do is if um is the player that is initiating the effect then we're just going to ignore this request altogether because we don't want to add the extra effect to the person that's using it because that's just going to be a little bit disorientating so what I'm going to do now is player dot character added connect um highlight and you do for underscore player in pairs players get players and get players is very similar function to um get children it's just that um it only will find players and you do if player dot character doesn't equal nil then highlight player dot character and the reason we're doing this is so that if there's players that already exist so um that means that this character added event won't really apply to them then we want to make sure that the highlight effect is being applied to them as well so um that's that that will highlight players but what we really want to do is also highlight NPCs because I don't have any players to test this on at the moment so it's just gonna be hard to test it in game in uh, Roblox studio of course so what I'm gonna do is go to my Explorer and do a couple things so once you're in your Explorer you should create a new folder and this is going to house all of your NPCs and it's going to make it so it's a lot easier to identify what's an NPC so you can apply the x-ray effect to them as well so I'm just going to drag my NPC into this folder so that the script knows that it is an NPC. And you can drag all of your NPCs into there, or only a couple of them. Only drag the ones that you want to have the x-ray effect to be applied to. And now I'm just going to hop back into here, and I'm going to do local Adornies. And it's going to be workspace, wait for child, NPCs and it as referring to this folder that we created and what I'm going to do is adornies dot child added child added event basically checks for when a new object has been added to that folder I'm going to do object and I'm going to do highlight object actually to shorten this even more I could just do connect highlight so that's pretty fancy huh <laughs> and now what I will do is pretty simple. It's going to um well actually that that is that script completely finished except for one thing actually. So I'm gonna, I'm going to create a new for loop. I'm going to do for underscore object in pairs adornies get children do highlight object and that is that and now that I look back on it you can actually get rid of this cuz <laughs> I kind of improvised a little bit here cuz this is like my third take on this I had a lot of problems but um yeah now everything should work if it doesn't I will cry <laughs> so uh, let's test it out and as you see the x-ray effect does work 
This will also work on players, except for yourself. And um, if you want to check that out, make sure to... Also, if you're a little bit more advanced, it's pretty easy to make this toggleable. I just didn't have the time for it, because I have something going on a little bit later today. Anyways, if you liked watching this video or you found it educational remember to like and subscribe because it helps the channel out a lot and it is completely free and barely takes any of your time anyways i'll see you in the next one bye